Hey guys, I wanted to give you a demo of the OstoBuddy app. Now this app is meant to uh, keep track of your ostomy supplies and uh, give you reminders uh, when you're supposed to be changing your appliance and also keep a history of your appliance changes. It's a really cool app. I don't think there's really anything out there uh, available right now and uh, it really does make things a lot easier, especially if you have a lot of uh, supplies that you have to deal with. So if you've got a, a problematic stoma and uh, you know you've got barrier wipes and uh, adhesive removers and rings and you know all, all sorts of things like that that you uh, that you use all the time, uh, it, sometimes it's hard to keep track of those things. And uh, the last thing you want to do is be caught you know without a specific product because then uh, the workarounds uh, and, and the stress to to get that to work without uh, having those products. Um, is really unnecessary. So this app is aimed to help ostomates uh, take control over their supplies and um, I'm just going to give a quick demo as to how it works. So just to give you uh, another note here, uh, I'm running this particular version on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 which is a smartphone uh, or a phablet, it's quite a large phone, but uh, the app is available to run on essentially any type of Android device, uh, whether or not you have a tablet or a smaller phone, it uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, there isn't a UI specifically for the tablet so it'll look a little nicer on there but the functionality is essentially the same. The app is also available on iOS, so if you've got an iPhone or an iPad, then you can use it on either one of those devices. And uh, I actually do have the uh, iOS version, and I run it on an iPad. It's not specifically designed for the iPad yet, uh, unlike the Android tablet version, but uh, you know it does work. So if you do have an iPad and uh, you want to continue to use the app, then that's not a problem at all. And just on a, on a, on a side note, between Android and iOS, the versions don't sync between each other yet. Uh, I've, I've been speaking with a developer and that is a plan that they um, would like to introduce uh, in a future update, but for the time being uh, you can I mean, you can use it on two different devices, but you'd have to put, uh, you had, you'd have to input the data on those separate devices. It's not going to sync together just yet. And uh, just on a further note, the version that I'm showing you here is version 1.4 for Android. So um, future updates, obviously, you might have some UI changes or uh, other changes to the app, perhaps a functionality or features. But um, keep that in mind when you're looking at this particular demo. So uh, let's get started. So when you run the app, essentially it's going to give you this startup screen. And the startup screen gives you a lot of uh, nice information um, you know, that you're expecting. So it tells you the last time you've changed your appliance. It, it tells you the next time uh, you're going to be changing your appliance. And uh, it also tells you if you're low on supplies and it gives you an option to contact your supplier uh, if you've provided a phone number in there. Now here you can see the history uh, that I have here inputted already since I've started using the app. And what's really nice about the history is um, not only does it obviously keep track of your date and time, but also the supplies that you used. So uh, if you're like me and you're uh, maybe in the process of trying out different products and uh, you don't really know what you've gone through or for how long you've been using a certain product, this is a great way to go back and see exactly what's, um, what you were using at the time. Now the program also gives you options to go back and edit uh, your history. So if you uh, happen to forget maybe that you used something uh, at the time, uh, you can go back and add that in or remove something. Um, you can make all those changes on the fly and that's not, um, you're not locked into uh, whatever the history says. So that's um, obviously a good thing to have. So here you have the current supplies view and this is essentially showing you everything that you've got on hand. And everything is sorted alphabetically. Uh, I'd prefer that uh, you could see the actual item number but that may come in a future update. But for the time being this works. It gives you the uh, product name and also the quantity remaining. Now from this view here you have a choice of either adding a new supply or editing one that you already have in there. So uh, here's an example of entering a new product and it uh, gives you a nice, um, a nice easy layout. So you can enter in the manufacturer name, you can put in the name of the, uh, the product itself. So in this case it's uh, the Opsite FlexiFix tape 
And uh, if I had a model number there, I, I'd put it in there too, but I didn't have one offhand. Uh, so I'm going to enter in a quantity of one because I only have one of these uh, boxes, but uh, the app al allows you to add in uh, however many you have on hand. Now the app also allows you to edit the supply once it's been added in, and that's a great way to add more uh, of a specific product, let's say when you get a, a new order in. So as you can see in that example there, I just added another two to that particular product. Now in the settings screen, you do have a few options here. You can put in your details, um, your name, your email address, and, and things like that. Uh, I believe the developer at some point is going to add in some extra functionality to incorporate some of that data. But for the time being, you can enter in just basic information if you'd like. It's not, it's not necessary that you do it, but um, I put it in there. There's also a spot where you can put in information about your supplier. So, you know, their phone number, uh, an email address, that sort of thing. I don't really call my supplier to order supplies. I essentially just order them uh, through their website. So that information isn't important for me to have. But if your particular supplier either requires that you call them in or send an email, then that information is good to have on hand. And, you know, the app allows you to, to quickly reorder the products based on, you know, what you're, what you're low on. Now, one of the features I really like about this product is the ability to remind you um, when your next appliance change in because sometimes you know you're, you're not really keeping track on, on a calendar even though I do have a calendar uh, that I mark down the the days that I expect to change my appliance it's not always convenient to, to constantly have to refer back to the calendar so you can actually set the app up so that it sends you a reminder at a specified time and at a, a, a specific interval that uh, that you change your your appliance or you expect to change your appliance now, um, having said that, if you have to uh, change the appliance early, then it will start counting basically from the time that you've told it you've just had an appliance change. So there you have my quick demo for the OstoBuddy app for Android, uh, also available for iOS. But uh, if you want to check out the full review, uh, please visit veganostomy.ca. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment. Thank you.